The large mass arrived from various parts of the country to Delhi to declare and take pledge that we will not go further until and unless we achieve our end. I am not taking much of your time because of scarcity of time, but I would like to bring that this is the greatest day in the history of India. You have, you are declaring that the constitution which we frame, the law which we got, the rights we achieved through a long thrown struggle, we will continue the struggle to sustain the same. And in that way, we are starting in the beginning of a big struggle by which what are the rights that we achieved hitherto by giving martyrs in the country to safeguard this. I am not going into the details. This is the beginning of a biggest struggle. The struggle is a continuation of earlier struggle. But the present government, what they do is take away the rights you achieved by sustained the struggle and whatever you can do. Now I tell you the parliament is made a look out only. They are not going to see anything in our favor. All the laws relating to the labor have been changed. 106 laws plus 50 state laws have been changed, central laws have been changed. Law is codified. Law is being codified against the interest of the workers. Now, the thing which you got from the law is taken away. I am telling you the latest example. We have the freedom. Our freedom is go through the communications and they want to muffle the press. To muffle the press, that the press shall not carry any news, including the news that you have come here and demonstrated they want to muffle. They have muffled the criticism against the government. They are muffling everything and bringing a new law. The Ajastan government has brought it. You know what the government's method? Government is hushing up everything. One of the biggest victims in India will be the working journalists and the press people. You understand? They are not going to appoint you in the next wage board. They are not giving in the recommendations of the wage board. They are going to take cases against the press if they publish any news against Modi. People have started killing. Killing whom they are killing. Gauri Langesh, they killed. Other people who criticize, they are being killed. The voice of what you write against, what you speak against, are being muffled. That is the stage where you are. That is the freedom that we achieved will be there no more. You are fighting for the freedom. You are writing, you are fighting for the existence of India, democratic India. So this is a fight for sustenance of democracy. Friends, only the workers can take up this challenge. Only the workers can do what the people wanted to do. In that, today you have shown the big success. This big success is going to lay down that we are one. We will have only one, or one organization. All of us will come together, fight together, and achieve it, including the muffling of the constitutional rights, including the taking away the rights of the people. Let us go forward, we declare, and the port and dock facing same situation. If the port and dock and railway come together, they stand for fight. What will happen in the country? Your success is, all, the, your struggle will be a successful 100%. So the Port and Dock Workers Federation have decided to go ahead with the struggle. A unity has been built, that unity has been declared, and the Port and Dock Federation, the bank, in the railway, all federations are coming together under the Central Trade Union leadership and going ahead for sustaining the rights which we have got by giving blood and all our people in the martyrs and they tell you friends we will succeed there is no question of failure we are to succeed and we democracy has to succeed for that we will continue the fight thank you very much